Hi there, kindergarten. It's Mrs. Templeton. I have another story I want to read with you today. Um, this week, we have been learning about animals that hatch from an egg and animals that are born alive. Um, so my story today is called What's in That Egg? It is a nonfiction story because we are going to read about real animals that hatch from an egg. Um, there's two huge science words that I want to teach you really quickly. Um, if you were able to watch the YouTube video that we posted about um, animals that hatch out of an egg and animals that are born alive, then these words might not be new to you. Um, but my first word is called oviparous. Oviparous. Animals that are oviparous hatch out of an egg. So I like to remember oviparous looks like an egg. O looks like an oval or an egg. Viviparous animals, viviparous am animals are mammals. They are born alive. So I drew a picture of like a little bear, a dog, a cat, viviparous animals. They do not hatch out of an egg. So my story today, What's in That Egg? It's a book about life cycles, and it is by Becky Baines, and this is a National Geographic kids book. So you're going to see a lot of facts and a lot of information about animals. What's in that egg? Hey, what's in that egg? Hello, Mom? Is it a turtle? Turtles are reptiles. Reptile eggs can be hard, but are sometimes soft and leathery. Some reptiles bury their eggs. Is it a fish? Fish lay lots of eggs at a time. Most let their eggs scatter in the water. Some freshwater fish make nests underwater in the sand. Is it a frog? Frogs are amphibians. Amphibian eggs are like jelly. Some are laid in strings, others in bunches. They need to stay wet and are laid in ponds or streams or even in leaves that hold water. A butterfly. A butterfly is an insect. Most insects are tiny. Insect eggs are teeny tiny and hidden. Or a swan. A swan is a bird. Birds lay hard-shelled eggs in nests to keep them safe. One thing's for sure, though. An egg seems so small, there's a whole world inside. It's a home, after all. So this says some babies live in eggs for only a few days. Some live in there for months. So some animals stay in the eggs for a long time, and some hatch very quickly. Inside the egg, a baby floats. Albumin makes up most of the egg. It allows the growing baby to float and not get bumped around. Growing in size while eating the yolk. The yolk is the food that the baby eats to make it big and strong. So this is kind of weird looking, but what do you think? What do you think that animal is in there that's growing? Getting bigger and stronger till suddenly tap, tap, tap. Ready or not, that egg's going to hatch. Most baby animals tap open hard shelled eggs. So they use their beak. Did you guess that this was a chick or a bird? Nice job. Eggs can be pink or green or blue. So these pinks are apple snail eggs. This green one is a cassowary bird egg. And a blue, you might have seen this one in your yard before, a robin egg. Some eggs can even be see-through. Look at that. That's called a glass frog egg. Long and skinny, pointed or round. So there's snake eggs, quail eggs, and turtle eggs. All different shapes of eggs can be found. I'm going to mess up this word, but guillemot birds lay their eggs on narrow rocky ledges. If the eggs were round, they might roll off the edge. Their shape keeps them safe. So it's not exactly an oval shape. It's kind of pointed at the bottom, and that helps it maybe spin around instead of roll off the edge. That's kind of cool. Ostrich eggs are the largest of all eggs. They can get as big as seven and a half inches tall. So that's about how big this page is. Can you imagine an egg that big? 
bigger than a cantaloupe or too small to see. Hummingbirds lay the smallest bird egg. Kind of looks like a jelly bean. They are only about one half inch long, so about that big. Very tiny hummingbirds, which they are tiny. Ostriches are pretty big, so their eggs are pretty large. There may be just one. And remember when we read about penguins, the emperor penguin holds the egg on the foot. And do you remember who takes care of the egg? Is it the mom or the dad? Good, did you say dad? Yeah, the dad keeps the egg safe and warm. Or 2,000 or three. So this is a clownfish like Nemo. Look at all those eggs. The eggs an animal lays at one time is called a clutch. Look at that. It's hard to see, but can you see all of those teeny tiny little eggs? A clownfish. A baby is born. Do you know what kind? The egg might tell you what was growing inside. So is it hard? Is it soft and leathery? Is it buried or is it underwater? Is it teeny tiny? Is it in a nest? Is it long and skinny? What do you think that one is? You said, where did everybody go? Looks like a crocodile or an alligator. <gasps> Happy birthday, alligator. Alligators are reptiles. Surprise, surprise, what took you so long? They have soft and leathery eggs, which they bury under leaves or sand. Look at all those. Would you want one of those in your backyard? All right, so that was a fun little book. See you later, alligator. About different kinds of eggs, different kinds of animals that are oviparous. Good, so see if you can think of any more oviparous animals or even viviparous animals, animals that are born alive. All right, friends, thank you for reading along with me. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.